Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 31 bread and butter bolos for you guys. These items sold for $35 or less. Bolo stands for be on the lookout. These are items that I bought low and sold for decent margins. Typically easier to find items in my um, bread and butter series. Be sure to check out my big money bolo series also and my category bolo videos. Sorry if it's a little choppy. I don't know what's going on tonight with my internet. I've been having issues lately with uh, the kind of choppiness. So you probably won't notice it once I start the screen share, which is going to be really soon. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and let's get started. All right. The first item is, okay, are these coloring books. Um, color by number. And these are like, you know, the paint by number, these are color by number for kids. Super cute concept. Um, I picked these up at a thrift store for 25 cents each, and I sold these for $14.45, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this uh, vintage Wacky Wobbler bobblehead. It's Davy from the Monkees, and the box is not in great condition. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was like a bulk buy, so I probably have a dollar less in it. Um, I bundled so much stuff at this sale. And bobbleheads can be hit and miss, but some of them can be big money. This one sold for $20. It was a long tail item, I will so tell you that much. Um, but I was happy to see it go, and I did make a great profit. So $20, and the buyer paid shipping on this one. The next item, I picked up a bag of vintage ties at a garage sale. Um, I pulled out the ones that still had the original tags on it, like this, and I lotted up some of the ones that were not in as nice condition. Um, you know, they were kind of wrinkled, or they were pre-owned. And I lotted those together. But these that had the tags, I listed these separately. I took a best offer of $25.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I want to say I paid $3 for the whole bag of ties. This item I thought was going to be a big money bolo. But I sat on it and I sat on it and I sat on it. And somebody offered me $25. Bucks. I mean, I had tons of offers. I just thought it was a bigger bolo than it was. But um. I had multiple, probably 10 different offers on this item, but they were always super like $25 or less. And I'm like, no, it's worth more than that. You know, this is a bolo. Well, um, somebody offered me 25 and I'm like, you got it. It was one of those slow sale days. You guys know how you have those. And you're like, hmm, I think I'll take that offer. So I told, sold this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked it up at like a garage sale for probably, uh, 50 cents or 25 cents. Man, that has like a blur to it on the top. I think it's like the, um, see the shadow? Makes it look blurry. Okay, the next item I sold are these vintage classic reindeer and sleigh. Um, and there's a couple snowmen there. I picked these up at a garage sale, all of them for like 50 cents. I always pick up these um, vintage Christmas things. People use them like if they have like the villages and stuff like that. And they, they tend to sell well. They're not always big money, but I took um, a best offer of $15 on these, had hardly anything in them, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Anna Lee Halloween Black Cat. Super cute. I love Anna Lee. If you guys have never sold Anna Lee, see the cat's face. Anna Lee is very, 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 um, once you see it, you will remember it. And here's what the tag looks like. I always pick up Anna Lee. For some reason, it's not image not available. That's odd. Um, I always pick up Anna Lee if I can get it for the right price. Most of it is bread and butter, but there are some big money um, Anna Lee. And I took a best offer of $15 on this buyer paid shipping. Again, this came from a garage sale where I bought a ton of stuff. So I probably have less than a dollar in it. This came from a garage sale. I believe I paid 50 cents for it. It's a little Oshkosh Bagosh Bear. And I have a video on Oshkosh items to look for. Some of them, the clothing items are big money. So go check out that category video. Um, there, it's amazing. It's amazing. What just you'll you'll see when you watch the video what to look for, and it's awesome. Okay, so this bear sold for twenty five dollars and fifty cents, and the buyer paid shipping. And again, I paid fifty cents for it at a garage sale. 
It's an Eden bear. I think that's how you, it's E-D-E-N. I think that's how it's pronounced, Eden. The next item I sold, I picked up at a garage sale for a buck. And the, go the girl's arm was like beginning to split. So probably not going to, it's probably going to break. But I just disclosed that, but it had all of these awesome magnetic outfits. How cool is that? A dollar at a garage sale, sold it for $29.75, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from a lot that I bought on Auctions for You. Um, so it is a YouTube auctions channel. It's Auctions, the number four, and a capital U. Um, if you guys have never been to the auctions, you should definitely go check them out. There's a link down in the description of my video. But this was a Halloween lot. And I can't remember. I did an unboxing. It was either $25 or $35 with free shipping. Go watch the video. You will not believe how much stuff I bought. And I believe it was me and maybe one other person, maybe two other people bidding. I think somebody was bidding against me. Now I can't remember. That may have been a different. Uh, I think somebody was bidding against me. But anyway, I got it for a great deal. And I was like, I am going to make so much money on this lot. I did donate some of the stuff, but I listed so much stuff from it. So definitely go check out that video and definitely check out auctions for you. The link is again down below. So um, I sold these. I took a best offer of $13 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are like those glitter sticky hands, like you hold it in your hand and you flick them and they're like little party favors. So yeah, 13 bucks for those. The next item I sold is this Scooby-Doo beanie knit hat. So I went to a garage sale and I have a video on this also, a haul video where it was the end of the sale and they were just giving stuff away. I got so much stuff and I'm going to say like during that video, I was thinking like I, I kind of had an idea of what I thought I was going to make. I've made two or three times what I thought I was going to make. It has been fantastic. And I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping, so I got it free. The next item I sold is this Billy Elliot Broadway musical uh, program. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. This came from an estate sale. It was stuck in a drawer and I pulled all of this Broadway stuff out, threw it in a bag and got a fantastic deal on the last day. Um, I don't know if people just missed it because it was in a drawer, but always check the drawers at the estate sales. The next item is this Boyd's Bear. Uh, this has been a long tail item, but I bought out a garage sale and I bought all of their Boyd's Bears. I think I ended up paying like a buck for each one. And this sold for $18, I'm sorry, $19.55 and the buyer paid shipping. So I like selling Boyd's Bear plush. I know that people think that they're duds, but I do pretty well with them. Some of them are long tail, but if you can get them for like a buck, I say do it because the margins are usually pretty good. The next item I sold is this dollhouse miniature Halloween black cat. It's a teeny tiny, I'm talking like dollhouse size. It's so cool. Um, I don't even remember where it came from, but I sold this for $15 and 30 cents and the buyer paid shipping. You know what? I think I do remember. I think this was in a mystery box and it was hanging on like a, a little figure and I took it off the figure because I don't think it went with the figure. I think somebody just was using it that way. The next item is another one of those ties from that uh, garage sale. And I took a best offer of $18, buyer paid shipping on this one. Um, these Martha Stewart pumpkin sleeves I picked up at a garage sale. I want to say I sold, I, I'm sorry, I paid a dollar for it. You can still see the, I didn't pick the sticker off very well, the garage sale sticker. Whoopsie. Um, I sold this for $15 and 30 cents in the buyer paid shipping. They're super cool. They're pumpkin sleeves. Have you ever seen such a thing? I think they're really cool. The next item I sold is this vintage nativity, uh, plastic, uh, scene set. Uh, they're glued on. And, uh, I believe this came out of a mystery box. Also, I sold this for $25 and 20 cents, the buyer paid shipping. And nativity sets and scenes and different things like the mangers, I love selling them. I do pretty well with those. The next item is this retired Heartstone Halloween hand-painted stoneware. I pick up Heartstone whenever I see it. Most of it is bread and butter, but some of it can be bigger money. If you can find the Halloween items, they typically do well. 
Um, I sold a mug that was the same as this one. I probably should have sold them together. Um, and then a big bowl. But uh, I think I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale and I sold it for 15 and the buyer paid shipping. These brass geese, um, I picked up at an estate sale and I think they were like a buck for all of them and I sold them for 15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Bratz replacement shoes and they were soccer themed. They were a part of my Bratz lot that I picked up. So I went ahead and sold these separately for $10 and eight cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Happy Feet uh, figures, uh, garage sale, $3, buyer paid shipping, and I sold these for $30. This is a discontinued new old stock toy. The next item I sold is this vintage Rainbow Bright. She's not in the greatest condition. Um, so I sold her for $18.48 and the buyer paid shipping, and I think I got her to garage sale for $0.50 cents if I remember correctly. The next item I sold is this vintage Barbie jacket. Uh, the doll is not included. I just use it for display. And I sold this for $16.80. The buyer paid shipping. And this also came from a bulk Barbie lot that I picked up. The next item I sold, and I thought these were going to be like another big money bolo. I had them priced really high in the beginning. And they didn't sell. You can see they're glow in the dark. Um, they're pretty cool. And... I sold these for best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. This came from a huge Halloween lot. So I, I probably have a buck or less in them. This um, Hello Kitty uh, inflatable. I picked this up. You know what? I can't remember if this came in a mystery box or if I got this at a thrift store or a garage sale. I am sorry. I cannot recall, but it had some staining on it just from being used. So I ended up selling this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney Barbie. This came from a garage sale. This was a long tail item. I want to say I paid like three or four bucks for it. Um, it took a while and I took a best offer of $30 on her and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from that same Halloween lot that I bought on auctions for you. There were a bunch of these um, leotards, like dance leotards, and I've sold them before and I know that they do pretty well. And I think I've sold two or three of them so far, but this one sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Zip It Grills keychain. It came from a bulk buy at a garage sale. It was kind of just in the bottom of a tote. I looked it up and I'm like, those comps are decent. I basically got it free. I took a best offer of $9 on this and the buyer paid shipping. I think it's kind of cute. It's a little coin purse. The next item I sold is this vintage Schley Germany Billy Goat. It's retired from 2001. I took a best offer of $14 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And I have sold this guy before. So definitely be on the lookout for him. He sells pretty quick. He must be hard, harder to find. The next item, you guys would probably look at this and be like, why on earth did you buy that? And as Donatella Bodolino would say, somebody is looking for this. So she holds stuff up. She's like, someone's looking for this. And I have to agree with her. This was a long tail item, but somebody was looking for it. And even though he is in rough shape, as you can see, somebody still bought him. And he's got this like heart inside of him. And if you don't know who Donatella is, she has a um, YouTube channel where she sells stuff and she caters to resellers. So if you guys are looking for inventory, there's a link down below in the description. Definitely go check that out. But this guy is called a Snuggle Buddies and it's a plush mouse that I think he was 50 cents at a garage sale, if I remember correctly. Now, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yep. Still sold. Somebody was looking for it. I, I put definitely could use a bath. <laughs> this item is old, has been played with, and well-loved. Hey, I was honest. The next item came in a box of dollhouse furniture. And this is a Cindy doll. And I sold her super fast for $33.60. And the buyer paid shipping. And this is what she looks like right here on the back of the neck. I don't know. She must be collectible or hard to find because she sold fast. 
and I bought, uh, gosh, I can't remember what I paid for the box of dollhouse stuff, maybe five bucks. So it was a good deal. The next item is another, um, from that drawer at the estate sale, the Broadway musical stuff. And this one was autographed and I took a $20 offer on this. I don't know why I could have held out for more because I have sold some of the autographed stuff. I think when I took the offer, I forgot that this one had the autographed, um, the postcard or whatever it is. So anyway, I didn't have much in it. So I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, that's my bread and butter for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And there should be some other videos popping up. So check out one of those. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.